Well done. Yeah, no, you're right. Um, no, uh, take me out off to uh, John and his family and Mead, of course, the trainer. They uh, they don't train a great number of horses, and this guy and the guy he's got in the next race, uh, first two foals of the dam. So uh, for a guy that only trains two or three horses, uh, great effort on his behalf. And uh, yeah, he the first drive I had on him, which was in about a CO, he told me that um, I was welcome to continue my association with the horse if because he said he uh, believed that he was a horse that had the ilk to uh, go on and race at this level. Uh, I doubted his judgment at the time, but, uh, yeah, he's proved me wrong, which I'm very happy about. He's a wiser man than all of us, Gav. Yes, no, he is. And being a dairy farmer, you know, I try my best for him tonight because we know how bad they're travelling. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, they've had a pretty good season, I think. But uh, let's talk about uh, the race. Uh, obviously, the, 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 the way it unfolded, obviously trying to get behind the leader, which looked to be Ela Wong Armstrong on paper, was probably the right place to, to target, and that worked out well for you? Yeah, quite correct. Um, you know, Armstrong, he's a very, very good horse, uh, own worst enemy. Um, and, yes, um, I was lucky enough that the eight horse just couldn't maintain its spot behind him and allowed me to drop in there and uh, trail the right horse. And as per usual, Armstrong got up and got going a bit and, you know, he beats himself. And uh, But, I mean, this bloke, he had to dig deep to uh, to get over him, um, which he did. So, uh, great effort, really. On the turn, he looked to nearly almost have you beaten. He sort of put a little gap there and sprinted away. And, as you said, this horse just dug deep, didn't he? Just chased. Yeah, quite right. Um, I sort of just sort of poked his head outside Jody's wheel and um, she let him let him down and, um, as you say, he got away a little bit on me. And uh, But, uh, yeah, to like I say, to this guy's credit, he dug deep and um, got the job done. All right, I'll have a chat to very shortly the winning trainer. Well done, Gavin Lang. Perfect. Congratulations. I uh, always get great pleasure on Vic Bread Night and I get great pleasure when I see... Uh, I suppose the battlers, I don't say battlers in, the, in a nasty way, but uh, someone that uh, trains a small team and come up and win the big ones on the big night. Well done. Thank you very much. You know, it's just a thrill, you know, because like, this, this win will mean something to us. It'll, it'll do something for us. And, um, I, you know, I just, um, it's just, it's just, yeah, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll wake up in the morning and I won't be tired. You won't be tired. You, you'll be you, three hours sleep, but like I won't be tired. So. You, you will be running on adrenaline for quite a little while. But uh, tell me, firstly, is this your first Group One? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I had a few starters, but I, you know they're not easy to win. <laughs> they're not easy to win. I can tell you, no one gives them away, John. Yeah, no. Like, and he just won, but like that's that's racing. Like, that, that's what gets the crowd excited, making exciting racing. Well, it makes it even more excited when you're connected with the horse. And tell me, yeah. Uh, uh, before the race, during the race, how, how were you feeling? Oh, no, I felt really good. He just, the other horse got away a bit on the corner and um, my fella took a little bit of winding up. And, um, yeah, we, like the race had to be another 10 metres longer. He would have won it quite easily, I think. But um, the race is, the distance is the race distance. doesn't matter. Yeah, that's the name of the game. And um, it showed now that he can get home good. Most, you know, he always seems to get home good, like, you know, and that's a great attribute in a horse. Background behind this horse, how did you come about getting him? Oh, as I said, he's the fourth generation since we've had, there's been four generations before this horse that didn't race. And we knew they had ability and I, I bred two of them. And um, I actually bought the, his grandmother off Graham Pearson. And so it actually, he comes back from down South Clare and Lucy Clare and those ones. So they were, you know, down South Clare was about the second um, trotting mare that ran two minutes in Australia, I think. And um, so he's got a bit of bloodlines in him, and um, yeah, that's it. Well, uh, how will John Mead celebrate tonight? Well, I've got to drive home for about, it'll take me about three hours, so I'll probably go home and um, yeah, I've got another horse in the next race, so I better go and put the card on him. Better go, John. Well done. On your way